Hello again. Well, I've got a, a bit of a new challenge um, today from the next painting. Um, I thought I need to do something a little bit, yeah, a bit more challenging because all my paintings in the past have been very bright and very green, um, you know, very similar in that sense. And I really wanted to try and do something different something that really um, pushes me a bit and forces me to think more about light and dark um, shadows and sunlight and that's why I came up with this. I found this photograph which I've obviously taken a few years ago and it's got uh, yeah it's got all those th all those things that you need. It's got the, the lovely sunshine coming. It's obviously a forest glade so there is foliage there, but it, it's very. Um, I love the way the light plays on the on the on the trees, and it just shines in through into the and really highlights the trees in the sort of the centre of the of the picture. So I think this might be a bit challenging for me. So I'm quite I'm quite looking forward to this one, and it'll be interesting to see how it progresses. Right, so I think to start with, I'm going to assume that, you know, it's a lovely blue sky because there's obviously sunshine coming through there. So you're not going to see a lot of the sky, so it's literally, it's literally, literally a blue, a bit of a blue wash on here. I'm not going to put cloud in or anything like that because actually you can't see the cloud. So I reckon that's um, that's about it. And the rest of it, and you know, I'm going to put in a very, very dark colours. I'm going to put mixtures of blacks. Um, And all will be revealed later in the painting. So it's literally dark, dark colours. So I'm going to get a bit of a, a bigger brush. And just sort of blend those two colours where they meet. So that they sort of meld into each other. Just adding very very pale trees, these are way in the distance, these trees, so they're quite pale. Now we're going to, I'm going to grab a different brush and trunks, it's literally trunks everywhere. It's like trunk city in here so I'm going to put lots of Those trees are getting closer so we can we can add a bit more sort of stronger and darker. Okay, so now we're getting more into the foreground, so we have to give a bit more thought. To the trees, just where the 
the sun is catching some of the, the undergrowth here and it's producing some wonderful shapes Okay, so I've added some uh, trees that are obviously catching the sunlight coming in. So it gives it a wee bit of, you can sort of start to tell, obviously, the difference between light and dark. So now I'm just going to use the fan brush and put on some this sort of ferny, ferny things going on here. distance so I'm just going to sort of put them in just dab them on and sort of pull the brush down and sort of okay so I've added on where you can see the sunlight coming in so it's starting to take form now so I'm quite pleased with how it's coming out I'm just going to, and this is where I'm in danger of overdoing it, I'm just putting too much brightness in, and I'm very conscious of that, so I'm going to try my hardest to keep it sort of toned down a bit, because I've got lots of bright colours here, but on the grind there's lots of, and I'm just going to pick up the highlights on the grind. And the sun is clearly coming in through a little streak and just highlighting little things on the grind to make a, a lovely pattern. Okay, we're getting there. So I've um, started to introduce a bit of light coming in now so that at least you can tell that there, there is sunlight. I'm going to make that stronger. But I just want to add a bit of interest here in the foreground. And there's a lot of sort of dead wood line. I put a little bit of a highlight. In this tree. I don't think there's much more I can do. I think that's it. Right, I think I'll leave it there. I think I've... Um, I quite, I'm pleased with it. Um, I'm going to leave it for a little while and uh, see what I think in a little while. Uh, I might make, knowing me, I'll probably make a few changes. Right, well that's it. I've definitely called it a day on now. I, I'm very pleased with it actually. It's come out really well. And um, I'm glad I experimented. I think if I was doing anything different, perhaps make the, the sky that is showing and make it much paler rather than it's sort of a dark, um, sort of a darkish blue. But overall, I have to say if I zoom in a bit, 
um, I have to say I'm very pleased with that. It's come out more or less exactly how I wanted it to. I wanted it to sort of show a bit of atmosphere and I think that's there. So yeah, I'm happy.